in the last many years, the, a big change has, has happened. Actually, in uh, this century, uh, Russia has gone from being the absolute dominating chess nation in the world to become, well, the best nation in the world, but the one that never wins anything. So what's wrong with Russia? What's, why don't they win the Olympics anymore? Why, why did they just fail miserably at the European Championship for teams uh, that was played in Slovenia in November? Uh, why are the uh, USA uh, big favorites in uh, the upcoming Olympiad in, um, in, in Moscow that will be played in summer here this year? Uh, and if, if they don't win... I don't think Russia will win. I think China will win, or maybe India, or Ukraine, or Armenia. And I'm probably not Armenia, they lost Aronian. Anyway, uh, so I'm, in this video, I'm going to discuss a little bit of, about what's wrong with Russia and what's right about the USA. Uh, first of all, the USA has done a lot of good things. They, well, to be honest, uh, America has always had a big advantage in everything because the, 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 the geography is just fantastic. They have a clear access to the Atlantic, clear access to the Pacific. They have a lot of natural resources, a lot of uh, enterprising uh, humans, and almost no enemies in the... Well, they, they always walk, talk about the Mexicans are coming, but it's not that, that bad if you compare to a country like Russia. Uh, that after the, the political shift in Ukraine, uh, they didn't have access to a harbor with, <laughs> that, that didn't freeze over in the winter. So they had to take Crimea. And of course, that was not allowed. It was illegal. But uh, from a sort of a PowerPoint uh, geopolitical uh, uh, sense, it made a lot of sense for them to take it because... Well, they still have to get to the Bosporus and Turkey can say no, but they at least had, have had a place where they could launch some ships in the winter. Uh, maybe climate change will, uh, will make that different. Also, Russia has been sort of, uh, has no natural uh, defense. Uh, they would just wish there were big mountains in Ukraine, then they would, they wouldn't, we wouldn't have this conflict that we are having right now, which is, by the way, bit terrifying in my uh, my view um, but uh, in chess uh, something has always also gone wrong for russia over the years if you look at nato they say it's a defensive ally uh, alliance and it, and it is but it's keep moving east uh, it's been moving east from uh, when when i was growing up uh, it was standing in the middle of germany uh, the Eastern Bloc, and now it moved all the way over to Russia's border uh, with um, the Baltic states. Anyway, that was not, I'm not going to talk about uh, geopolitics. Let's see um, something here. This is Russia's uh, current rating on FIDE. It's the top 10. We see that uh, Vladimir Kramnik is no longer there. He has retired, and of course, Kasparov has retired, and so on. But if you look at this, it's awesome. It's simply awesome. But there is a problem. These people, they don't perform at the national team and uh, they are not absolutely the best. If we, we then take a look at the, at the USA. We see also, we see that after the first two, uh, Nipomnici and uh, Grishuk, uh, the next one is below 2750 and it's Kayakin who originated in Ukraine, but of course he's a Russian. Uh, and, and already a guy like Vityogov is not world class in, in, uh, compared to, to players like, uh, for instance, Carlsen. You cannot put Vityogov up against Carlsen. Carlsen will just uh, wipe the floor with him. And so we have uh, the USA here. We see that they don't have uh, 10, uh, 2,700 players. They, they, they don't even have, they even only have five. Well, actually, it's cheating a little bit because Hikaru Nakamura is not on the list because he was inactive. Uh, and then he came out of inactivity, just, uh, just won uh, the, uh, the Berlin Grand Prix knockout, uh, beating Aronian. But we also see that in the top, when we count Nakamura, who's got 2780 or something, we have a much stronger team. And um, and by the way, they all perform. And why do they perform? Because they take responsibility. 
and um, and that's the big problem for Russia and has been the big problem ever since uh, 2002 where they had Kasparov uh, and they won in Slovenia in Vlad I was there I saw them and Kasparov was sort of getting them forward, taking responsibility, forcing them to, to play. At, at the moment, they are sort of defensive. While you expect uh, the, the Americans, I'm going to show them who's the boss here, who's the best player, uh, is it Karana, is it Nakamura, and so on. We're going to take responsibility, I'm going to win the match for us. Yeah. And, and, and Russians, I'm not going to lose the match for Russia because they're going to blame me. They all expect us to win. We're not going to... So they have this defensive uh, sort of attitude, mentality, and it, it's just a big problem. And it's been uh, a mental problem forever. And the, the funny thing is, Russia keeps doing the same. They have great seconds like uh, Mutulev and, and a good team and so on, but they're not a team. And that's the problem. So they should have somehow... Uh, uh, mix the cards again. They did uh, send up the old guard. No more uh, Svitla, no more Tomasevsky. We are out. They are out. But it's not enough because they are still sitting there. I'm not going to lose the match. Instead, who's going to win the match? Um, and and they're not performing like a team. And I don't think they ever had uh, actually been a team. They were just uh, in in the old days. They were just so strong. I and mean, then you send a team like uh, Kasparov, Karpov, and Petrosian and uh, Pulgayevsky and something, and they just gonna crash everybody. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, back in the Soviet Union, they also they they had Ukraine, Armenia, and Azerbaijan uh, to, to to top it up. Uh, today they only have Russia, but they're still. By far, uh, if, if there was a 100-board match, Russia would just win it without question against any country. They're just so much stronger, so more a massive uh, a level of strength in, in Russia. Uh, but they are just not performing on the top level because nobody on the team is able to take responsibility. And, I'm, uh, and they're more afraid of, uh, of sort of messing up than being the hero. Uh, so and and they're not cheering each other up, uh, uh, and they're not performing like a team. Uh, we we can you can sense it, but you can also see it, and you can see it in the game. So we're gonna see a game here where uh, Atemayev is playing against Unichuk, and uh, and he's white, and uh, it's on board four. And by the way, this game, even though it was short, it took a long time to play, and it, I think it was the last one to finish, and. Um, and at that time, uh, I think Grishuk and Dubov had already played a draw, and Alexenko, the new guy, had lost against Shevchenko, uh, the new Ukrainian star. So, Russia was behind 2-1. Let's see what's going on here. This is um, sort of uh, an uh, Onishuk uh, Volodymyr. I never heard of him before. He's a pretty strong player, very aggressive. Uh, there are sort of two schools in U Ukraine. Uh, there is uh, the positional school where they are really like uh, playing squirrel chess, like I, I've made a video about. And then there's the other school, the Volokitin and uh, and this guy Unishuk school, where they are really poof, going for it in every game. And uh, this Unishuk is, is from the, the other school, for sure. Um, and uh, this is a sort of Pirk setup um, where... Uh, and I think White is better in these structures in general uh, because he simply has more space. Um, we see that I've talked a lot about that in videos here. He is controlling this one. Black is controlling up to this one. And we are sort of fighting over uh, this one. But it's it's clear that White is, is just having a little bit more space. That means more attacking chances, more chances to mobilize. Uh, by the way, Russians are have a lot of space uh, in Russia. Uh, a, a country like Russia is is just so huge. Uh, I, I remember my son when he was uh, he was I think he was seven. He said to to me, uh, Zuna or, or Daddy, um, which country which which is bigger, uh, the dwarf planet Pluto or Russia? And it's very close. You can uh, you can you can look it up on on, on Google. Uh, so it's almost a planet, uh, Russia. Uh, but of course, uh, most of it is uninhabitable, uh, and they have a big disadvantage compared to the U.S. They're simply uh, even not even half the people. 
Uh, there lives like uh, in Siberia is is bigger than Europe, uh, but there lives like 20 million people or something, and it's and it's only nice in two months or something. The rest it's either too cold, too hot, or there are too many mosquitoes. Okay, let's get on with it. This is all very uh, natural moves. Um, and black is going for dynamics and activity, and white is um, is hoping to stabilize and keep his advantages. In the long run, white would love to do something like this, this, and uh, push back and push black back, and and maybe win this pawn and and so on. Black is is, ho is hoping to make some uh, some funny things here. For instance, in this position. Uh, and, uh, and a, a little trick could be something like uh, this, which is kind of uh, interesting. It is often works, these kind of tricks, and check and take it, um, and that looks fine. So, so that's why I play king h1 that looks a little bit strange. But, and this is uh, the big uh, thing here is to know that... Um, White is better if black just doesn't get any kind of confessions. So white is sitting on um, on the, the right side of of, uh, of of the deal at the moment. Uh, please notice something like this doesn't work because the queen will be trapped down here after something like this. Yeah. Okay. So h5. Um, we, we saw that the idea was to uh, uh, that before h3 was was uh, was prevented, but here now white plays a3, and the idea is simply he wants to play something like uh, this and f4, and put the knight uh, maybe do something like this, and then uh, put pressure here, have a lot of strong pieces and a uh, great position. So white black gets going um, and and say okay, uh, let's let's see if we can can make some holes here. Uh, and of course, you could do this, but this is not really what you want with white. You want a nice sort of smooth structure that will uh, that will be able to uh, to sort of take any blow. Uh, and and here uh, it's already sort of fragmented, and and white black will have he could play maybe something like this, and uh, and you can even maybe not even take here, or and, and black will be very active. Uh, this is is not what you want. So d4 is clearly part of the system. So white is basically hoping to play f4, rook d1, and so on, be much better. So he's, he's planning to, to just get going and put this here, and then maybe here, and here, and so on, and black can be squeezed. So, but of course, this was not the plan, and we was, like I, I warned you that... Um, Onichuk is from the uh, wild Ukrainian school, not the... Uh, Accountant school and bishop here, and uh, by the way, this doesn't work at all. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, and and here maybe why should just go f3 and uh, and or he could even I think he could go he goes not rook he could also go f4. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, of course black's idea is something like a3 and knight 3 and so on. Maybe this coming and. Uh, but it doesn't work. Uh, so f3, and and after this, just take it and and get uh, and and something like this. And of course, black will have some counter chances in uh, this position, but it's not enough. Um, a piece is a piece, and 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 you get two pawns, but but white will also get free play and uh, and will be able to. To stabilize. He said uh, he panicked a little bit. Uh, Artemayev. By the way, this Artemayev guy is is uh, I think he's 21 or something, and uh, I, th I had a feeling that he could become really strong. But this game sort of changed my mind because there's simply something wrong with the guy. Uh, because here this move is, is weird, and Bishop A3 makes sense. Now Black is is close to to having uh, material uh, compensation, but and this is, uh, is the big part here, is you would rather have two uh, pieces than a rook in, in most middle game position. That's a general rule. You would rather have two pieces than a rook and, and say one or two pawns because you have much better attacking chances with the pieces and rooks are not good defenders. Rooks are not good defenders. Uh, make a note of that. 
uh, they uh, they are very good at uh, at sort of uh, shooting from from afar and uh, and 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 when when the board is cleared, it's they are they are pretty good, but they're not they are a bit clumsy uh, in defense. Uh, and uh, and therefore uh, you would prefer to have uh, DSV. This is not bad either, and it makes sense. And and we see that White understands something here. He is going for uh, maybe something here in in uh, in in the, in the future. Queen C5. I think I think he might Queen B4 was must maybe better. Uh, Queen C5. And um, and here uh, this this is. It's a difficult, uh, interesting position uh, where you say, "Okay, what's what's actually going on here?" Um, of course, Black is 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 hoping to get some kind of play. He, he can take this any time, but he would have some problems with the king after that. Especially uh, this guy down here will be very strong, uh, and he will be able to uh, to get into the game. And also. The, this this rook, where, where is he's going to go? So so in general, but why this is sort of how to 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 find out what to to do here? Uh, this is always in the air and so on. So what do they do? Well, he decided to play bishop here, and uh, black gave a check, which um, you cannot take, so you have to go back and here. And he made here. And by the way, uh, this is uh, is here that he should look up and say, "Uh oh, this uh, Alexenko uh, guy has lost. So we are losing the match. They don't play with uh, board points. They play with with match points in uh, team competitions, which of course is is clearly better than uh, board points. We we still play with board points in Denmark, and it's ridiculous." Um, I said it many times. It just makes no sense. Anyway, but here there is a strong move for white, and uh, I'll give you 10 seconds to try and find it. Uh, the thing is, no matter what, even if he's worse, he cannot play bishop f1 here. They are losing the match. Uh, it's round seven, and uh, Ukraine uh, went on to win. Uh, the uh, the championship and um, ahead of our um, Azerbaijan that was that played a, a fast 2-2 uh, against the Ukraine in the last round they should not have done that that was also a bad judgment no one taking responsibility and the thing is you see the the the, the teams that get the best results are the one where Everybody understands they have to take responsibility. They have to go in there and maybe be the deciding factor. Uh, that's why uh, uh, Ukraine has won a lot of matches. That's also why Armenia has won a lot. Well, Olympics. Uh, Umi, Armenia has won a lot of Olympics because they they understand this. They they really fight for each other and the team and their country. And in Russia, I don't think maybe they don't even like each other. I don't know. Uh, maybe you have this this sense. I think it's no problem if everybody takes responsibility and want to outshine everybody, but that's not the case. They're just afraid of being the bad guy, and and they simply have to change that if they want to win Olympiads because they haven't won since 2002, and they've been uh, the best country forever, and and they have a well sort of. They, it must be hard to be a Russian these days. Um, anyway. Uh, okay, this was uh, another kind of video on uh, GM Talks. He, he did decide to do this, and uh, Russia lost the match, and uh, it all ended totally disastrous for Russia. Uh, they didn't win. They didn't even get a medal in the, in the European Championship, and, uh, and I think... I think uh, Artemayev, and they are all to blame. Uh, no one took responsibilities. Grishuk was just there. He was replaced by, uh, well, he replaced Kayakin, who's going to to help uh, Nepomnici. Of course, they were missing Nepomnici in, in the match, but it is, they have not won with Nepomnici either. Uh, I think they they don't have the right mentality, and they they need to change that. Need to change the culture to be. And and the funny thing is. In general, Russians are pretty hardcore. They're really, uh, they're sort of, there's no, no, no bullshit with Russians. So it's, 
it's interesting that they they and that they would never they will always take responsibility for themselves but in matches they they have a big problems and i think maybe the expectations are simply too high every time and they try just to, to downplay them a little bit but but they still have this uh, as in when anyway this was uh, gm talks with another video i hope you liked it thank you for watching